Hey folks, Mr. JT here, and today I'm going to teach you how to be gangsta in Frosty Editor for PVZ GB2. Just kidding, folks. Welcome to the final tutorial where I'm going to teach you how to create new subworlds in Frosty Editor for PVZ GB2. First, you'll need the GB2 Bundle Manager. And the Weapon Creator plugin by Breakfast Brains 2 installed. So, first, open the Levels folder. I'm going to single click Level Co op Asia, scroll down, and right click the Team Deathmatch subworld, duplicate it, change the name to Free Roam, single click it. And as you can see, a new bundle has been created for the subworld. Now duplicate that asset. I'll change the name to Free Roam Network Registry Win32. And change the type to a Network Registry asset. Right click the free roam subworld and duplicate one more time. This time leave the free roam at the beginning, but put a forward slash and then type layer zero free roam logic. That'll put it in its own free roam folder. Change the type to a world part data. And you can see it's been created in its custom folder. So the next thing we'll do is go to the Level Co-op Asia level data, open the objects, scroll to the bottom, add a new item, copy an existing subworld reference object data, paste it here, open that up, and change the bundle to free roam. Scroll down, open inclusion settings, open settings, open enabled options, and change that to free roam. After you do that, click on this level co-op Asia folder, open description, Open Categories, Open Item 0, Open Mode, Add New Item, and type Free Roam here. Well, we're going to need to pull data from an existing Free Roam subworld. So I'll single click Level Co op Brain Street and open the Free Roam subworld data. Copy the property connection. Open the new free roam subworld asset and clear out all the connections and objects. Place the property connection you copied. Also copy the objects from that one and paste it here. Open the objects, open the world part reference object data. And we're going to swap out the blueprint with our custom layer. Open that object up. Check the box enabled. And once again, we're going to need to pull data from the existing free roam region. So open level co-op brain street, single click free roam, open layer zero free roam logic, copy the objects. Paste them here, open the objects, open the spatial preview reference, open blueprint transform, and we're going to need to give that appropriate coordinates for Zen Peak. So single click the Vanquish Confirm folder, open layer 0, open the objects, open the first spatial prefab reference. This is for game mode setup, Vanquish Confirmed, we'll copy its blueprint transform, go back here, 
and paste it. Add new object. And we're going to create a new locator entity. Open that up. Set the realm to client and server. As for the flags, I'm going to copy these handy dandy client and server flags and paste them here. Now for the transform, we're going to need proper spawn coordinates. So single click the vanquish folder, open layer one, the neutral spawns, hit view instances, open any alternate spawn entity, open the transform, copy it, go back to the free roam logic, and paste it here. Once that's done, go back to the subworld, open the property connections, and we are going to assign our layer zero to the source, pick the locator entity, do the same to the target, but select the spatial prefab reference, change the source field to dynamic transform, Go back to the level co-op brain street. Open the network registry for free roam. Copy the objects. Open the new network registry for free roam and paste the objects there. Open the objects. Scroll down. And I'm going to single click layer zero free roam logic and replace the defunct one at item 26 with the spatial prefab reference. Right click your new subworld data and manage bundles. We're technically done, but we need a way to test it in game. So in the search bar, type in client load to hub, open gameplay, Game modes, single click helper prefabs, open client load to hub, open the objects, open the PVC level control entity, and for the client level to load, we can get that from the level's description we added. Copy this level name. And we'll go back to client load to hub. And paste it over client level to load. For client inclusion options, we'll change the game mode from front end to free roam. And just for a bonus, we'll change load screen game mode to free roam. Oh we. Let's save the project, and I'll call it Zen Peak Free Roam, and save. Finally, we can launch the game to see if we load into Free Roam on Zen Peak. All right, so we'll head into a private match. And click exit to return to backyard. And I load it in. Let's spawn to make sure it works. And you bet it does. Of course, this is a very bare bones game mode, but it's a functioning one. There you go, everybody. That concludes the 100th tutorial, the last one I'll ever make. And now, a special word from me. Congratulations guys, you've made it to the end. If you've been watching since tutorial 1, then God bless you. I'd love to continue the series, but I'm afraid it'll have to stop here. 
That's because I plan to leave YouTube in a week to focus on my personal life and get married in the next few months. Will someone take up my mantle and continue the tutorial series? Eh, I mean it's possible. Actually, if someone is interested in doing that, please get a hold of me on Discord and let me know. Now before I go, I have one last thing to share with you guys. I published this in the PvZ Frostbite modding server already, but now I'm ready to share it here. Behold, the first ever PvZ GDB2 component documentation. This guide contains all the properties, links, and events for the components used in GDB2's files. But anyways, thanks once again for all the support over the past 5 years. You don't know how much it's meant to me as a person, and I won't forget you guys when I'm gone. See you on the other side.